What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Touchdown Replay, your number one source for everything in the world of sports news, recaps, and highlights. We're going into NCAA football once again. What a big week this was for week three. Last night, I watched a hell of a game with the Ohio State Buckeyes beating the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers 63 to 10 with McCord Keys having a big second quarter for the number six seeded Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, Kyle McCord threw for three touchdowns and 318 yards, and then sixth seeded Ohio State used a 35 point second quarter to route Western Kentucky 63 to 10 at Ohio Stadium on Saturday. What a hell of a game this was, folks. This is shaping up to be a really great college football season. I can't wait to keep watching. This is exciting stuff. By the way, if you're new to Touchdown Replay, hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell for all notifications, and let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like us to cover in the world of sports news recaps or highlights. Now, McCord's 75-yard touchdown pass to Marvin Harrison Jr. on the first play from scrimmage after Western Kentucky had pulled to within four points Gave the Buckeyes, who are now 3-0, a 21-10 lead. At, and Chip Terranium ran for a 40-yard score on the first play of their next series to make it 28-10. Now, the last time Ohio State University scored five touchdowns in a quarter was on September 21st of 2013. I turned 33 that day. Versus Florida A&M. Trayvon Henderson ran for 88 yards and his touchdowns of 21 and 10 yards put the Buckeyes ahead 14 to three, nearly five minutes into the second quarter against the Hilltoppers who are now two and one. But Austin Reed tossed a two yard touchdown to Malachi Corley to pull within 14 to 10 before the Ohio State onslaught could begin. Now Harrison had four of his five catches and 118 of his 126 yards in just the first half. That is amazing football, wow. The Buckeyes' secondary got their first test of the season going against Reed. The FBS active career leader in passing yards per game, which stands at 333.4, and total yards per game at 350. That's crazy. Now, Reed, who threw for 589 yards and six touchdowns in his first two games, was 21 for 37 for 207 yards with the touchdown and an interception before being pulled in the fourth quarter. Quarter. Now, Coach Ryan Day officially named McCord the starter over Devin Brown on Tuesday after the two shared snaps in the first two games, with McCord playing eight of the first nine possessions against Indiana in the opener and six of the seven drives versus Youngston State on September the 9th. With Brown taking over with one minute left in the third quarter, he goes and throws a 28-yard-to-yard -yard touchdown to Carnell for a 56 to 10 score. Now, Western Kentucky plays at Troy next week on Saturday afternoon and Ohio State facing the number nine Notre Dame Fighting Irish in South Bend, Indiana in a Saturday night primetime game. That's gonna be very, very exciting next week. I can't wait for more college football. That's gonna do it for this edition of Touchdown Replay. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, let us know in the comments. If there's anything you want us to cover in the world of sports news, recaps, or highlights, and we'll see you in the next video.